two software moguls gave a big boost to making the Large Synoptic Survey Telescope, or LSST, a reality. Charles Simonier and Bill Gates gave a total donation of $30 million. Don Sweeney is LSST's project manager. That contribution will allow us to build and uh, acquire all three of the large mirrors that go into the LSST, and that was really important. When LSST is completed, it will be a technical marvel, surveying the entire sky once every three nights. Dr. Phil Pinto is one of the project scientists. And just look for stuff that's changing. Find the asteroids, where are they moving, what stars have exploded. LSST is scheduled to be completed in 2014 and will sit on a mountaintop in Sierra Pachon, Chile. One image from LSST is a more than 3,000 times wider area than the Hubble Space Telescope. In its first weeks of operation, the LSST will survey more of the universe than all previous telescopes combined. And all night long, about 800 times a night, a new image will be taken. That data will flow through optical fibers from Chile up to the United States, be processed, and in a matter of two minutes appear on a database, which anyone in the world can access. LSST corporate headquarters are based here in Tucson. The nonprofit corporation has more than 20 members, including Columbia University and Google. LSST is attracting interest from around the world, not only because of all the data it will collect, but that the information will be available on the Internet. Dr. John Schaefer is president of the LSST Corporation. The striking thing about this project is it really is a new paradigm in science. Uh, usually with a telescope, whoever builds and owns the telescope owns all of the data. Uh, the products of this telescope are going to be made available to everyone. In order to survey the sky on this scale, the telescope will have one of the largest digital cameras ever built. The camera is indeed quite large. It has 3.2 billion pixels. That's and the, the focal plane is 63 centimeters in diameter. So if you look inside your own little digital camera, the little image sensor is about a centimeter, centimeter and a half across. This one will be 63 times larger in diameter. So it is quite huge. LSST will answer fundamental questions about our universe, especially questions about dark matter and dark energy. It will also track near-Earth asteroids specifically the smaller ones that potentially can cause a lot of damage. So Space Watch and, and, and the Catalina Sky Survey and other surveys like them are looking for objects with smaller telescopes that are, are like GASPRA, you know, kilometers or more in size. LSST will be looking for much smaller objects, objects of you know, 100 meters in size, a tenth or less of the size of GASPRA, and there are vastly more of them. The first mirror will be cast this spring at the University of Arizona's Mir Lab. Here is a drawing of what the telescope will look like, and this is an illustration showing what it would look like with just the mirrors. Here's an artist's conception of the telescope stripped of all the supporting structure and just containing the bare essentials. So here we have light coming down from the sky, strikes this annular primary mirror, this region and the donut here, is reflected up to a secondary mirror, this convex donut, down to the tertiary emitter in the middle, and then up into a series of lenses and filters when it strikes the, the uh, largest digital camera in the world, this focal plane of 3.2 billion pixels uh, up here. This combined primary and tertiary mirror being cast at the moment at the University of Arizona Mirror Lab, um, it's all being cast in a single piece of gla glass. You have to produce this kind of LSST a will ultimately cost $400 million to build, so far, $45 million has been donated by the private sector. The rest will hopefully come from the federal government and the National Science Foundation. We have uh, another review uh, coming up uh, later in this year, and that will be a critical review of the project. Uh, from there, there will be a recommendation, positive we hope, to the uh, National Science Board. And uh, if they act favorably on it, we then go to Congress and get in line for federal funding. So we're talking about another two or three years at least of uh, contemplation on the part of the federal government to fund this project. But it does enjoy very high priority. 
the data that we get out of this will, I think, affect the course of science uh, for the coming century. For KUAT, I'm Pam White.